Hey guys, welcome to today's MCAT question of the day. As always, we'll be working our way through one of the many MCAT practice problems found at MCATSelfPrep.com, the home of the free MCAT prep course. I'm Andrew George, a 99th percentile MCAT tutor, and I'll be walking you through today's practice problem as if you were one of my private tutoring students. Be sure to hit pause and try this problem for yourself before watching my explanation. Okay, let's try and draw out what's happening here. If the airplane is moving in this direction, the air is coming at the wing in this direction, okay? And the air that passes through on the bottom of the wing is just going to pass right on through. It's not going to get compressed at all. So it'll just travel through uninterrupted. But the air molecules on the top of the wing are going to hit this wing and they're going to compress and get compacted. And this is similar to when a fluid goes through a pipe and the pipe gets compressed. It, it decreases in size, which increases the speed of that air. So now this airspeed is going to have a high velocity. Okay, And as we know about the Venturi effect, when velocity is high, the pressure is low. So the pressure is lower up here. On the bottom of the wing, the, the velocity is low and the pressure is high. And if the pressure is higher on the bottom of the wing, it's going to cause this wing to have lift, which will lift the airplane into the air. Taking a second look at our answer choices, it looks like answer choice C is the best option here. The velocity of the air under the wings is less than the velocity of the air above the wings, like we talked about. And this creates higher pressure under the wings, giving the airplane lift. If you liked this MCAT question of the day, be sure to give it a like. And for more MCAT questions of the day, be sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel and enroll in our free MCAT prep course found at MCATSelfPrep.com. And if you are really looking to maximize your MCAT score, feel free to visit my tutoring profile page and request a free 10-minute phone consultation. I would love to chat with you about your situation and how you can maximize your MCAT score. I look forward to hearing from you soon, and we'll see you next time.